New at 10, work has finally restarted on the Comey River Diversion Canal, a massive project designed to prevent disasters like the Great Flood of 2016. News 2's Earl Phelps met at the site today with Congressman Garrett Graves to discuss the current progress being made. Well, Taylor, some say what happened in 2016 could have been avoided if the Comey Diversion Canal had been in place. Reverend Sheldon Early is celebrating a nephew's birthday party in the Castle Rock subdivision near Zachary, a neighborhood devastated in the Great Flood of 2016. The whole area was underwater. Um, um, almost every house in here took up about uh, three to four feet of water. Early lost his home in the flood, a disaster some say could have been prevented with a massive flood control project that never was finished. This is going to be a huge difference maker. Now this Congressman Garrett Graves on the site of the Comey River Diversion Canal, where construction is underway on this $400 million flood control project. It's going to help provide flood, flood relief in East Baton Rouge Parish, in Livingston Parish, and in Ascension Parish. Work on the Comey Diversion Project actually started back in the 1980s, but it stalled, and it took the devastating flood of 2016 to get the wheels rolling again. You hear that noise? That's the sound of progress. Because Graves began securing funding when first elected in 2015, then got more aggressive after the flood. And just banging on the table about the urgency of this project, about how we couldn't put people through what they went through in 2016 again. <laughs> Reverend Early is counting on the Diversion Canal. He built a new home in the same neighborhood where he lost the first one. I'm hoping that, um, that it would do what they're thinking that it's going to do. And now that funding is in place, the canal should be finished by the end of next year.